Well, it's Halloween coming up. Hello, Mary Jane. I don't think you and I, I do can't. trick or treating. No, but not really. But it's a time to talk about the fears as we come up to open the program, write the book inside you. It's the last chance people have to do the program before the end of the year and get yes. their book out of their head and heart and onto the page. We thought we'd address the, the, the biggest fears that we know can help, that will sabotage you if you don't face them. But not mm -hmm. only face them, but find the root cause and erase them. So it's face and erase, which, which yes. rhymes. <laughs> yes. So, um, yeah, so, so let's uh, kick off. We're not going to spend, we've got about five or maybe four fears that really we found in our work, not only with that I call the goal stoppers, but also the writers and creatives and wannabe authors face. So yeah. Mary, Mary Jane, I'm going to go across to you and you start with the fear that you know is a biggie. Well, I think a lot of people say I wouldn't have time to write a book. And in my opinion, we have time, we make time, we create time to do what we really want to do. So that's often the surface layer of something that's underneath that. Um, and when I've worked with people um, who are maybe struggling with their book writing, two big common ones come up that I've experienced. One is, who am I to be writing a book? Or I'm not good enough to be mm. writing a book. And that will be particularly, maybe if you weren't great at writing at school, you know, you've got bad grades for your essays, maybe mm. you've got um, dyslexia, or you've got a diagnosis of label of dyslexia, things like that often will be a block for people. Okay. I think that's a common and, one. And I'd just like to say that there's a good example of a book, which is, okay, it's not a nonfiction book, but I happen to, uh, Mitchell. Yes, I think so. Um, anyway, she um, had an idea for a book about in the Deep South. It wasn't called Gone with the Wind. It had another name. And what would happen is she she had been a journalist on you know in before she got married the second time and settled down. But in her writing cabinet and in a suitcase under her bed, she had in old Manila Manila envelopes, you know, her writing of this of this book, which was to be Gone okay. with the Wind, and. When people would come to visit, she'd cover it up or she'd put, hide it in her, her sewing cabinet. You know, it's quite quaint mm. uh, in the 1920s. And then one day, by chance, um, a publisher came to town and she was meeting with some of her old friends who were going to meet with him. And he said, you know, I'm looking for a book set in the South. And she, you know, not me, not me. And everyone said, but, but you've got one, haven't you? And she said... They said, oh, you just pretend you've got one. You don't really have one. So that made her mad. So she went home. <laughs> she gathered all this, <laughs> these bits of envelopes and, 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 and what uh, Wikipedia says, some were written on something called pig, piggy, Piggly Wiggly Packets. And she, she, she put them all together and she, ran, she went down to the station as he was leaving and she said, here. And he and said, the, the rest is history because he thought, this is riveting. He changed the name of the heroine yeah. to Scarlet. And um, it's just, I think, worth noting that uh, she didn't really write other books. But if you've got that, she had that book inside her. Mm. And she didn't really believe in herself and, yes. and, and that it could. And it was there. And I think that's one thing to overcome that fear of I'm not good enough. It goes back to your why and your yes. The book, that's why it's write the book inside you. It's that book that wants to come out, but you tell yourself all these things and it yeah. never gets done. Totally agree. And I think the pull to change change someone's world, even if it is one person's world, has to be greater than your pull to stay nice and safe in your discomfort, in your comfort zone, if that yeah. makes sense. So and another, I think a, a yeah. big thing for many people is about being visible. So that's a bit of a thing for me. You know, if I share my story, what will my family think? What will the world think? You know, how will that be to, you know? Yes, that's to, called to, fear of judgment in my, yeah. in my line of fears for authors. And it came up yesterday, you know, I'm interviewing people to, who, who are going to be a, the right fit for our programs opening in November, starting on November the 11th, write right. the book inside you. It's a six, our six week program. And people, I always say, they often come up with the fact, well, what will my family say? 
uh, if I reveal stuff. And I've, I've got this thing, don't worry about that. You can edit on that later. You can turn it into a case study. Yeah. Just get it down from the heart so that the emotion, the raw emotion is there. And yeah. I can give an example of myself growing up in an alcoholic with an alcoholic father. My sister, who's a doctor of psychology, bless her, she sometimes says, has said to me over the years, why do you always bring up dad's alcoholism? You know, mm-hmm. can't you just let, let it rest now? And um, my answer is, if it helps people understand the, the childhood trauma that I had to overcome because my fear yeah. and my, um, you know, trauma about men stemmed from a father who was, you know, some of the time acting out. So I'm using that as an example. Um, yeah. And, you know, some people have uh, abusive marriages that they don't, they can't, in fact, uh, legally say too much about the person, but they, sure. it, it, it's not a reason not to write your book, as I said. No. So that's and the I fear like of the judgment. Idea, I like your idea that you can, you know, later you can edit it and almost make it a case study. So it doesn't have yeah. to be personal. As, as you will probably be fudging the real names of some of your case studies. But the, mm. the point is each study, each story, um, help someone understand your point in your book yes. and that's how we we teach it is that you know you tell your own story and basically every point you make if you've got five steps of how you help people you tell a story because people remember yeah. that and yes. um, so we've been through this is the fear doubt and uncertainty of not having enough time the fear of failure and uh, failure I, I i personally have a fear of failing to not finish a book and therefore, oh, okay. there's a part of me that doesn't want to even start it. So let's not start, and then I won't have to not finish. Yeah. So, okay. um, so that's why sometimes I, I help people just write very short books, like mm. that that book I wrote years ago on Michael Jackson, which I wrote. You know, the point was that it's been on Smashwords for years, and they keep they wrote to me and said your tax wasn't up to date, but we owe you money. So people did buy this book called Michael Jackson, Five Lessons to Heal or Change Your Life. That was one of my first, I call it funny little books, you know, yeah. that I was just came from my heart. If only he as a child had had a different upbringing, maybe he would have turned out differently, some of, you know, his, his problems. But the point was, I don't really try and sell that book much now, but it's still there and it you know, it still brought me in somewhat. I this funny little book brought me in money yesterday because it had been sitting there unpaid from, from the time. So we can't judge too much, you know. You don't yeah. have to write the Gone with the Wind. Maybe in okay. this day and age we can write a shorter book, which is just niche-focused and um, addresses one thing. And if yeah. it fails, in whose eyes, I don't know. But we can yeah. write something else or rewrite it if we've self-published, you know. Now, yeah. um, the other thing is self-belief. What I really love to do in our course is have you help people maybe outside the weekly Zoom meeting yeah. with a belief they brought up in the group. And the group yeah. is small, so we can address some of the things in the, in the moment. Uh, I think it was self-image that I help people uh, see themselves as an author. And then if, if the BS buts come up, we can with EFT and Matrix Reimprinting, that's what's really unique yeah. about our course, clear those blocks and not yeah. wait for us to have to soldier on in despite the fear. Absolutely, um, and- yeah. So do you want me to, I can talk a bit about that. So if someone had a big block around, um, yeah, what, what will my family say if I write this? And who am I to do it anyway? So we would do a lot of EFT around those blocks, those beliefs, maybe go back and discover where those beliefs were made because they will have been created usually in our early childhood. Mm. And then um, I like to expand that to use a sort of future re-imprinting or a future, a, a kind of law of attraction technique. So I get people to see themselves six months or a year from now Mm. as you say we kind of see them holding their book but also I get them to use all the senses so what does that smell like what does that look like what does that feel like feel the cover what does that feel like there what can you hear you know let's let's use everything in there so um and I try and get people to do that daily you know, even yes. if it's just having a picture of it on their wall and just do yeah. that daily. And, of course, we've got the, the magic bonus that Wayne died. The magic bonus. He yeah. wrote 45 books. And he apparently, okay, first of all, he wrote longhand, which I don't think we're going to uh, uh, include in the bonus. But no. 
I have from time I uh, first started writing books had done the same thing that I discovered he did and that's going to be part of our magic bonus to help people yeah. really get connected with the mm -hmm. book that they want to write once they've got the um the hooks lined up and yeah. can you know do a visual visualization in the matrix but then we can get help them pinpoint it um in more than just a vision board so that'll be yeah. part of one of our magic bonuses um, and really I, I want to just reflect back to two things self-talk and self-image in in mm -hmm. fears and so in in the 1960s plastic surgeon um, Maxwell Maltz wrote a book called Cyber Cybernetics and he came to the conclusion then and a, a lot of today's modern um, self-help work and you know NLP is based on what he came what he realized that mm -hmm. he could change a person's features on the outside but they would still wake up and feel ugly when they looked in the mirror because they yes. hadn't changed the self-image exactly. inside yeah. and I'd, I'd like to just um, I think I have a, a quote by him where he says um, our brain is a self-image guided missile so that's why <laughs> our work with uh, doing what I call matrix goals future reimprinting or you know how you take a person from the past which we do at matrix reimprinting where they were sabotaged with with their self-image to a yep. future where as you said daily affirming that their brain is a guided missile towards getting their book yep. out and into the world yeah. So I think and that, that is so that's so powerful you know you yeah can't and that's why although we offering the know-how and the tools for self-publishing with it comes this huge rocket fuel boost of clearing any clearing of your inner blocks, blocks to and I think we've said every week but I'll say it again this week is that this isn't this course isn't just about producing a book it's a process it's um it's therapy isn't it really the process of going through writing a book it's almost a therapeutic process of self-learning and so self-love anyone... and self-development self yeah. it's everything yeah. the hero's journey is in there your call to adventure yeah. write the book you're, yes. you're pulling back you're, yes. you're having a mentor to guide you okay go forward the challenges you might meet because we don't know we can't guarantee you won't hit a railroad block and can't finish yeah. your first draft and that happened in our course there's one person who's gone on to want to you know pitch to Hay House and there are other people who had personal traumas and they couldn't quite finish but they exactly. still valued that they've got the idea for the book and that they know they will and are a published author one day yeah, and I think that we ought to finally. You, Mary Jane. That includes me. I know that's it. We ought to mention the group dynamic as okay. well. Okay, let's end on it. that because we don't want to go on too long. Um, you 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 go ahead with how you found the group dynamic because you know I, I led the the yeah the group. But there the there is a power in working in a group. There is there is a support and a drive, you know, and a momentum for working in a group so I think that in itself is powerful if you just sat and try you know I, I've told you before I've tried to write my book for at least five times before and never got very far so I'm further down the line now having yeah. worked in a group setting so that is really powerful yeah so we're offering that and um the uh, in the link below will will be the calendarly uh, sorry the booking the place to book a one-on-one -on -one call with me because really you know i can put up a sales page but we're not selling apples and oranges i yeah. you know i can tell you what's involved in the course if you jump on a call with me but really i just want to know can i will we be the right fit for you and yeah. will you enjoy and find joy and success in getting to grips with the book that you want yes. to write that's deep inside you now and especially if you're a coach or therapist wouldn't it be wonderful to move into the new year knowing that your book could be self-published by january and february so let's Amazing. let's hold that thought and thank you and for we have, everyone. we're just we're keeping it small aren't we so there's just limited number of places now yeah six count. six people max and yeah. um, and we're filling spaces already